Magnetic Helping Hands. Let's see what this is all about. All right, if you can't tell, this is a helping hand set, and we use these when we solder stuff. And a lot of times when you solder, you got to hold some solder, you got to hold the solder and iron, and then you need to hold the thing that you're soldering to. This was sent to me by a company called EQ, I think. Anyhow, this thing's pretty heavy duty. There's a lot of parts. Let's get it assembled and see what's happening. The instruction manual doesn't tell you a whole heck of a lot. It's only one page, but it shouldn't be that difficult. All right, now we got the rubber feet on, and I didn't take a whole lot of time to measure it, make sure it's exact, but I'm not one of the OCD bros. That's not going to bother me. Now this feels good, and it's not sliding around. So it has this magnet on here, and this is like a 3X magnet. And if you look at the bottom of it, it's actually got a light, like a ring light on there. So that's actually super duper handy. I'm going to go ahead and try... Boy, this thing's got a serious magnet in it. I'm going to go ahead and put it over on the side. Hopefully that helps us out a little bit. It has these arms, and they mount on here like that, and they're adjustable. Now with these arms, it looks like in the ends, you just slide this piece in here. And that uh, gives you a little grabber, a little alligator clip. And then it has these thumb screws. At least that's what I call them. And uh, let's see if I'm smart enough to get these screwed in. There you go. I'm going to place the long ones in the back like that. And then it's got some shorter ones right here. And right now everything is sticking together. So I was contacted by this company, EQ, and they asked if I would do a video review of this particular product. I do a lot of soldering, and I figured something like this would be helpful, so I said yes. What that means is they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. Now, if you're the type of person who is triggered by sponsored content on YouTube, well, I suggest you go watch some cat videos. All right, after assembling it, I have an extra alligator clip and one of these thumb screws. Now, maybe it's not an extra and I'm just a dummy and I didn't realize it, but this is what we have right now. Let's talk a little bit about what it comes with. So the first thing is pretty nice. It's this jaw clamp and it has a, you can see right here, a ball and socket. This is adjusted, the tension on this ball and socket is adjusted by this knob. So when I loosen this knob, I can rotate this up and then I can rotate this piece. Once I tighten this up and kind of get it dialed into where I want to go, it starts to become stationary. That knob also controls this ball socket down here. And you can see that it mounts directly to the, this uh, plate and then I can manipulate this to hold stuff for me. So it has this, uh, I don't know what you call it, screwing thing. And then you put something in here and it'll hold it tight. So let's just say I was going to do some work on something like this dummy load. I can just tighten this up and then I can use this to adjust it. Maybe that's right where I want it. And then I need to do any work on there. So that's actually super handy because it will hold things that are bigger than your alligator clips. Typically with these soldering holder helping hands things, they just have these clips on them. Now, what's nice about these clips is you can see they are coated in some sort of rubberized something or other. And that's handy because if you put a device or you put something in here that you're working on, I don't have to worry about this damaging or scratching my PCB. Where that becomes a little bit of trouble is, is that sometimes these can uh, scratch a trace. And once that happens, you got problems because you lose connectivity. So big plus to EQ for that. All right, so we took a look at this thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off just because this is a lot of stuff. That it, Man, these magnets are super strong. 
there's just a lot of stuff on here and we want to kind of take a look at all of it. Now these things down here are pretty nice. Uh, they have a magnet on them and they just have this point. And you might say, well, Abe, hey, what in the world is that for? And so I can take something like this board that we were just looking at and then I can go ahead and manipulate these things. Just like that. And get this stuff out of the way. And so when I do that, I have access to my board down here. Let's get these out of the way. Maybe get some focus. And I can work on this and do whatever it is that I need to do. I can slide it around and adjust it. So that's pretty handy. The other thing is, is that it has this magnifying glass. I'm really interested about this because I don't have the best eyes. And then you can see I can zoom in using this magnifying glass and see parts that I might want to work on. Now, one thing about this is I did talk about this USB cable that comes off the back of here. So let's just plug this baby in and see what happens. And then it has a couple of settings on here. So I can just turn this thing on. And that's actually really bright. So let me see if I can turn this thing down at all. And that's adjustable, the brightness in there. And then look at that, I can change it from warm to cool to medium and do all that kind of stuff. So that's very cool and I like it quite a bit. Let's take this off, take these off and let's test these helping hands. So again, these, these come into play if I wanted to hold something that I was gonna be working on like that. And you can see that that's pretty handy right there. And then let's just go ahead and move this baby over. get that dialed in maybe down there this out of the way we also have these longer ones there's not a whole lot to demo here so i'm not really going to do a much much more in this video but um it holds it in place and this thing is pretty sturdy it seems like if i shake it it actually shakes my whole desk and you can see the camera moving around but uh it's really all it is you just clip things in here and you can use that big clamp you can use these smaller helping hands you can use these stationary pillars here and then you got a magnifying glass not much more to it than that what i want to say is is that uh, i'll have a link to this below it runs about 70 dollars if you want to pick one up awesome if you don't oh well and uh, you can check out that link and find out more information i want to say thank you to the eq i think that's how you say it company for sending this to me for my consideration i want to thank everybody for watching it's greatly appreciated thanks all